What have I practiced? How do I feel? Step one is you sift through the contrast and you're asking for things as they come to you. That's as big as life really needs to be in terms of you filling your vortex full of powerful intentions. Your life has given you so much input and you have come to so many really important decisions about who you are and what you want. You just don't need to stress over that. You're at the place where what you really want to do is just know that it's there and trust that it's there. It's there. We promise you that it is there. And then you get out ahead of any potential of blocking it off by making sure that you're not in a blocking off moment, by making sure that you're not in a hateful moment or a confused moment. Because if you're in a state of confusion, clarity can't get in. Well, Abraham, that sucks. <laughs> if you're feeling not appreciated, appreciation can't get in. If you feel disadvantaged, if you feel abused, pretty soon somebody will be abusing you that's never abused anyone in their life. It's attraction, it's attraction, it's attraction, it's attraction, it's attraction, it's attraction. So you've done all the step ones and the step two is all lined up for you. Now your singular work is to moment by moment look for reasons to feel open and allowing of the good things that you've been asking for. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? Yes. You're knowing what you are wanting? Are you enjoying the expansion of your own personal preferences and desires? Yes. Are you getting pretty good at staying up to speed with them? In other words, do you believe in your ability to accomplish whatever it is you have decided? Do you expect the universe to yield to you in detail the preferences that you are choosing? Do you expect the universe to surprise and delight you? Surprise you in the sense that it is so much more than you even knew you wanted when what you wanted gets together with all of its combining and becomes the full manifestational experience. Do you find yourself in an experience where you are realizing that this is what you have been asking for, but it is more as it is fleshed out than you even knew it could be. Do you feel like that from time to time? Yes. That's what deliberate creation feels like. Creation by default doesn't feel so much like that because if you have not taken the time to identify what you want and to realize that you are identifying it, to choose deliberately and to acknowledge your choices and then to deliberately hold your thoughts more and more in the direction of your choices and not so much in the direction of why you have made your choices. I want this and why because of how it feels in the full experience of it rather than I want this because this doesn't feel so good. In other words, when you make that steady flip where you are out ahead of it, not fixing broken things and not trying so much to improve your life experience, but basking in the improvements. Can you feel the difference? Because when you're overcoming something, what you're trying to overcome is coming with you and you're not overcoming it. When you're trying to get over it or move past it or fix it, then the resistance about it comes with you and slows you down. <laughs> Because you can't want them less. Life has parlayed you into a vibrational creation. Once you've created the new and improved version of you, you can't say, never mind. You can't say, I don't really want that because I can't find vibrational equivalency with it. I don't really want that anymore because my habit is to oppose it in thought. And my desire now feels bad to me. So never mind, I take it all back. No. No, your inner being believed you and went where you said you wanted to go and is there holding the vibration waiting for you to catch up. You got no choice but to catch up because your expansion is what you set into motion and you've got to get up to speed with your own expansion or you don't feel so good. You get that, don't you? Do you get that? Yes. Do you want to get that more? Yes. You want to really understand that? You want to get yourself in alignment with who you are? 
All right, then we're going to tell you a really short story about who you really are. And then off we're going to go into who you are becoming. So here you are in these magnificent bodies, but you are so much more than you usually realize because you are an extension of source energy. And the source energy part of that sentence matters so much because the source energy part of you is a big reason for the way you feel. And by that we mean you are such big energy and you have come with such big reason and purpose that when you are up to speed in a moment with all of that, you feel fantastic. But when you're not up to speed, you don't feel good. And as we just said to you in another way, and we're going to say to you in this way and in many ways throughout this day, you can't take back the bigness that you've become. And that's what so many of you are tripping over because your life has caused you to become so much more. This is an indication of this vibrational reality, this vibrational coming together of circumstances and events which you want to call future because you can't see them yet which we call present because they exist and are real and are affecting the way you feel every day. Whew. So you've become more prosperous and you become more sure of yourself and you become more of all of the things that you're asking for. You are evolving vibrationally. That's the precursor to everything that manifests in a way that you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch. But because it's vibrational, and you can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it, sometimes you want to call it not there when it is there. And that is the thing that if you can get over, your joy will be immediate and the then manifesting in the way you want to see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it will begin to happen at such speed and consistency that you will begin to know yourself as what others may call magic, as you will know as normal. You will be the deliberate creator of your own experience. But you first got to accept that you are a vibrational being and that this vibrational you has already happened and that the circumstances and events are already queued up and you want to make your primary work to get yourself as often as you can into a receiving mode so that you can receive the vibration so that you can feel the impulse to move at the right time so that you can feel the impulse to be in the right place at the right time so that you can feel the impulse to know what you really know so that you can feel the impulse in the conversation or even when you're just mulling things over in your own mind. You want to get in sync with who you are, but you've got to stop being so in sync with what is already manifested. Because what is already manifested and who you really are are not the same thing. Can you follow that? You are more than what has manifested, and you want to be that more in every way so that you and others can see it and hear it, smell it, and taste it, and touch it.